Hi guys, this is Manjita and thank you for switching on to this video. So today we're going to talk about something very, very important and that is the very common question which idly comes in IELTS speaking section which is tell me about your hometown. Yes, even if you're giving a job interview, you can still prepare the answer with the tips given in this session. All right, so if the question comes to tell me about your hometown that is the place you live in before that for online one-on-one -on -one coaching english speaking personality development confidence building write to me at learn english with manjita at gmail and for guidance on studying or working abroad feel free to drop a note at my opportunities abroad at gmail.com Coming back to our topic of tell me about your hometown. We will follow a method. Always remember this method. Well, I have done a tree trunk approach. Please have a look at it. I will link it around. It gives you a method of how to follow or talk about any topic. Quickly, I will cover it for you here as well. So let's see what the method is. You can start from small to big. That is, you can start from your town, village or city, then say which state it is in and then say which country it is in. All right. A quick example is, I live in Mumbai, which is the capital of Maharashtra and it is in India. Okay, you could even give direction of it is in the northern part of India, southern, eastern, western or central of India. All right. The next approach is you can go from big to small. That is, start with the country, then come to the state, and then come to the city, town, or village. So, in Australia, I live in a state called Queensland, and in Queensland, I live in Brisbane City. So, you are going from big to small. It all depends what you're comfortable in and how you can utilize your vocabulary, your English speaking skills, the words you know to describe the location where your hometown is situated. Okay. My personal favorite is small to big. But anyways, each one can have their own favorites. Let's come up with some quick pointers, okay, for you to prepare. We will talk about what type your hometown is. For example, is it a river city or a river village, like there is a river flowing in it, or it's more of a desert kind of a place where there's a lot of deserts, or it's a hilly or a mountainous place, it's in a plain, what the terrain is. So you will basically talk about what type that place is is it a plateau a mountain a desert you know or a river or an or an ocean whatever you want to talk about please explain exactly what that place is very quickly okay just give an idea again the other point is, is you can talk about the nature of the place the natural beauty so it has a lot of greenery especially which part of the year the greenery can be seen more okay there are a lot of flora and fauna or it's a dry place where you find a lot of cactus or you know branches and figs around you can also say if there are some waterfalls or not people come to see them the mountainous areas just talk about the natural beauty or is it a beach side you know there are lovely oceans and beaches people come here for holidays so talk about the natural beauty okay. let's see what the next point is and this is the activity so you have to talk about what kind of activities a lot of people do in your hometown for example people just love to laze around with their family members or they go out and see the scenic beauty and click pictures they are active or there are lovely restaurants people love to eat out they serve home cooked food or it's known for some classic cuisines so explain what kind of food is available what kind of restaurants are there what kind of scenic beauty is there what people love to do they what kind of sport they do they do cricket base baseball basketball or horse riding what do 
people do actively do they focus on indoor sports outdoor sports what they prefer how's the weather next we'll talk about what are the attractions of that place okay so well you can see a lot of tourists coming in because it's a beach area people just love to travel traveling is cheap in my country or or my hometown tourism is cheap or it's expensive a lot of tourists can be seen or people just love to laze around on the beach if it's a beach place or they have lovely hotels around people love to come here for seeing the architecture or they have some world class buildings whatever is the attraction area of your place if you have some great monuments talk about it that it's known for these monuments and if you can give a bit of history very very quick okay and at last you can even say that people just love to simply drive for example it has lovely roads it has huge stretches and it has these small shops on the highways and it has be beautiful connectivity to other places so people just love long drives and of course if it has a national park or not if it has a rainforest whatever is the attraction of that place please learn about it if if it has some great malls shopping centers you can even include that okay so just think of what makes your hometown special or attract so i guess you got the gist of it however to help you better i'll do a quick summary so talk about keep these pointers ready you know talk about what kind of houses are there are they concrete houses or thatched roofs what kind of houses mud houses brick houses whatever kind of houses are there what is the main language which is spoken do they speak hindi chinese uh, tamil or or any or english or french whatever is the main language they speak there because a person should know that language is it easy to communicate or they understand english in total talk about the different activities they have you do outdoor indoor what what is the favorite spot there talk about that spot if you have a local hero in that particular spot talk about that what are the special attractions is it is it that it has a, a lovely mall or it has great shopping centers it has great monuments or it has amazing infrastructure or the buildings are made in a creative way whatever are the special attractions talk about that you can even keep pointers ready for what kind of jobs are available in that place you know people people love to do jobs like uh, for example a labor for example a digging drilling mining heavy lifting or there are a lot of corporate jobs available people love to go into offices it jobs finance jobs or healthcare industry hospitals hotels whatever what kind of jobs are available what schools universities colleges are there it's only good for schools or people do go out for universities or it has some great well known universities and people come in from different places to study there so talk about that uh the examiner might even ask you that what is your choice of place to stay and why so it would say that would you like to stay there or given a chance what kind of place would you like to stay at so then you can say that probably my hometown has a lot of beaches but i'd like to go to a place which is more of a city lifestyle you know which does not have so much of beaches so, or you can say the other side or i would like to stay in a place which is more like an island or i have stayed in a city all my life so talk about what places you would like to stay and why and at the end of course if the examiner says so areas of improvement in your hometown this also you can keep handy that if you if given a chance if you had to improve something in your hometown what would that be you could say that i would uh, put more of garbage bins around or educate people on discarding their garbage better or probably uh, i would ensure that people are are friendly to tourists okay and and they use or, or they learn english which is a common language and so that they can inter interact with the tourist or you can say that i would like to um uh fill the potholes i will make the i would want to make the roads better or probably i would include uh, or introduce a lot of outdoor games because it's a beautiful weather but people should come out and play so whatever you want to say as your improvement for your hometown so you got the gist of it keep this pointers ready the examiner might ask few questions uh, which could be a further drill down uh, to these various questions which i have just said to you keep these pointers ready and it will be very easy for you to answer your questions or tell me about your hometown because i have given you a plethora of topics which can come uh, in between the main topic all right 
and you know guys you are my rock star just practice and you will crack it thank you so much do like subscribe share and comment and bye have a good time and definitely practice and let me know that did this help you or not thank you bye bye